Hi guys, I've been developing something for LXDM. Not that probably many users use it, but we have now five ways of actually booting up our display manager. We have five ways of showing, hey, welcome to the system and who are you, etc. Right? We have LightDM. We've used it for three years. Then we've switched to SDM because of some issues with drivers. And then, um, there is GDM, which is part of GNOME. And um, now we have included well, LXDM for LXUT and then Lie. So the latest, the newest is the terminal kind of look. It's a black screen. So this is SDM for you. That's the default on all our 25 uh, desktops. So all our desktops at the moment have that. If you want to switch around, let me first caution you. Um, do this on VirtualBox and have fun with it. But uh, Deepin, for instance, does not boot up today with LightDM. So we're defaulting to SDM or for Deepin and for Ukui, right? But my machine, I've just been testing here with an XL and it all matters of hardware probably as well, right? But the thing is, the commands are there the things are there. If it works for you, great. Otherwise, keep off. So learn, make backups before you do or experiment on your experimental machine. That said, a cautious word. We have two SEDM as alias. It's already SEDM, so fine. Two LightDM. It's gonna install LightDM. And LightDM is now active. I can reboot now. There is two LXDM. Let's install everything in one go. That's installed as well, and it's activated. Two GDM, that's a bit tricky in the sense that GDM requires GNOME to be there. Yep, you've got GNOME on your machine, right? So I guess most of the people will use GDM just for Budgie and, and GNOME. But if you don't mind that GNOME is there, then you have this black screen, which is actually quite nice as well. I see I do need to do a RAM. So if you see this, it means that the mirror Rackspace and RNet and Arch Linux mirror and FTP. So it's Arch stuff that's not up to date. You can't find a certain package, GTST plugin Pipewire. Can't find it on all these servers. So I'm just gonna tell them, okay, go test the service and give me the fastest one for the moment, right? To GDM, okay. To lie, that's the other one, to lie. That's now activated. And now we're gonna try them out. So these are the twos, two something, two, two bash we have as well, <laughs> and two GDM, two LightDM, two LXDM, two lie, two SDDM. Okay, 2ZSH, the shells. What we've created as well is something new, but maybe let's try to do this methodically. So SDM, you saw that, right? To LightDM. Then we re reboot. So all the software is there. What's not there yet, and that's the fun bit, to make it nice. We like theming. And we were like also to try something out, figure it out, and then we make a script. This is not nice, right? It is the standard LightDM from Arch Linux. What we've created, oh, we're in GNOME. <laughs> Control T, nope, not present, not yet. So terminal, where is my terminal? Nothing is set, right? All the icons are not nice because of the fact that we were not we are not intended actually to go in here. So if we're not intended to go in here, we're gonna log out because we were on XFCE. Where is it again? We need to click to XFCE. So that's the thing, right? If you install GDM, it all comes with the package. And we're back to XFC. Whew. Ctrl T, Arch Linux has some 
things, some scripts to run. And I'd rather give you scripts, you learn from scripts, than a button in Arclinx Tweet Tool. It's already big and filled with all kinds of things. So here it is, Arclinx install activate Lightyam slick greeter. It's basically, the says what it's gonna do. It's gonna install slick greeter and activate it. And that's a much nicer look, right? Much nicer look. So we reboot, there is only one caveat, or one thing you should know. That's the fact that you need to log in and log out once and then the effect takes place. So this is Slick Greeter. No, nope. we're in luck, we're in luck, voila. This is the look of Slick Greeter. Often it happens that it's a black screen, then you log in, and then you log out, and you see the standard wallpaper. So that's nice. The standard wallpaper is the one we're looking at right now. So if um, that's a Slick Greeter, and a nice way to lock your system and have a nice thing if hardware permits right always remember caution if hardware per permits and also if desktops permit so no dipping no ukui um, on december 2022 anyway things change always next thing is um to dgm on GDM, I have not changed anything, right? Because it's it's nice, it's slick, it's black. It's the way it's supposed to be. So I'm not gonna create any theme there. It's just the way it is. And that's this look. If it kicks in, might have been Wayland. And Wayland is hmm, always an issue on our systems, but voila, control. Control F, full screen, virtual box. It's not the real metal, right? Remember, it's always gonna be an issue, this Wayland thing. And I guess I am on Wayland because everything is frozen. So, right control F2, control F. I'm gonna go this way and say, whatever GDM, right? It's gonna work on real metal. To SDM, to LightDM, to GDM, to LXDM. Oh, LXDM. There you go. Oh, password. See the reboot. Let's go back full screen. In the meantime, you've seen some tips, right? If you are stuck, it's Control F, get out of it again, and it works. So you've got here the awful look. That's the default LXDM. Control T. Arclinx has something for you guys. Install, activate, slick greeter. Yes. There is one more we have. Let's see if it comes in with an update. Wow. Control C. And then we say Arclinx again. Oh, uh, yeah, I should update, right? Mm -hmm. I should update. Because the package at this point in time is even still in the test repo. So activating the test repo. And then we do a sudo pacman minus sy, getting the databases in. Pamac, pam can. <laughs> Pamac is better. Uh, pacman is better. Wow. Voila. Getting there. sudo pacman minus s. Arclinux system config still in the dev package it is and now we have an Arclinux install and activate LXDM minimalo right that's a theme from us so uh, if we activate to LXDM that we have done then you can also make it more beautiful you've seen the look it was and now we get this so for the few people, and for me it's just some fun, some theming, few people who use LXDM, they get a nice look. So that's our look with our little logo. 
and here's some information the language you can actually add keyboards to this thing and make it transparent there's sort of more options voila i've learned a bit about lxdm etc lxdm lxdm.com that's where it is so i've got that covered then we have the two line that's the latest and the newest and you can select that as well on um, calamars for example it is the way it is i think there are still some things to iron out but i'll happy be happy to report them on github already put some issues there so if you have some wishes or something go to the github of this developer and ask him if it's possible to xxx all right so one of the things is you need to type in your login sometimes i forget because after a clean install you forget and of course it says login empty as those are the th one of the things and not all 25 desktops boot from it because of the fact of uh, the environment so type env and start reading it so the variables have to be there so that's another um, installer and i think i've uh, explained them all so gdm stays black sdm that's where we're gonna going to go back that's the default we have plenty of um, themes there we have lightm and lightm slick reader lxdn now for a nice design so all five of them eh, are now i hope a little bit more nicer themed and those were your options now we have a video showing you all the five display managers that are available if you're not knowing if you don't know what's what we're talking about right arch wiki yeah sure this play manager or login manager both terms are used so there's more CDM console no DM lie here he is and then TVSM MT and so on GDM LightDM LXDM SDM XDM et voila so there you go guys have fun with the current display managers one of the, the guys I'm also interested in I just saw here and so that's the next thing 2022 right a greet the looks like something interesting as well to have a look at so enjoy Arc Linux, enjoy the learning it's all here it's all explained here and we add some tutorials to it some youtube videos and some articles and with that you'll master your linux system all right cheers